This is the journey of the wheel. Let's rewind to around 3500 BC in ancient Mesopotamia. Early humans had already invented agriculture and pottery, but moving heavy loads was still a back-breaking task. The first wheels weren't attached to vehicles, they were potter's wheels, used to spin clay, a flat disc on a rotating axis, simple, yet genius. But this spark would ignite something greater. Sometime around 300 years later, someone had a groundbreaking thought. What if this spinning wheel could carry a load? Enter the wheel and axle mechanism. Two solid wooden wheels fastened to a fixed axle mounted on a cart made of wood and raw ambition. These early carts were rudimentary, slow and heavy, but they changed everything. Transporting goods became easier, trade expanded and civilizations grew faster than ever before. In the ancient world, evolution was inevitable. The solid wooden wheel gave way to a lighter, stronger innovation, the spoked wheel. Invented around 2000 BC, likely by the Egyptians or the Indo-Europeans, spoked wheels revolutionized speed and mobility. They were used in chariots, the tanks of the ancient world. Fast, agile, deadly. The spoked wheel gave rise to empires, it was no longer just a tool, it was a weapon of war, a symbol of power. Fast forward to the 18th and 19th centuries, the Industrial Revolution. Wooden wheels couldn't keep up with steam engines and iron rails. Enter metal wheels, cast from iron and later steel. These were the workhorses of the industrial age. Trains, factory machines, wagons. The wheel now carried not just people but the very weight of progress. This was the age when precision engineering met ancient design. 